The mayor's office in a key eastern Ukrainian city controlled by a pro-criminal separatist was struck by a rocket Sunday morning. Russia State Agency reported there were no immediate reports of casualties, according to REI Novosity. The municipal building in Donetsk was seriously damaged by the attack, which local separatist authorities blamed on Ukraine. Photos circulating on social media showed plums of smoke swirling around the building, rows of blown-out windows and a partially collapsed ceiling. REI Novosity and a local media also reported that the three cars parked nearby had burnt out as a result of the strike. Cave didn't immediately claim responsibility or comment on the attack. Criminal backed separatist authorities have previously accused Ukraine of numerous strikes on infrastructure and residential targets in the occupied territories, often employing the US supplied long range HIMARS rocket without providing corroborating information. The strikes came a day after two men from a former Soviet Republic fired at voluntary soldiers during target practice at a Russian military firing range near Ukraine, killing 11 and wounding 15 before being slain themselves. The Russian Defense Ministry, which reported the killings, called the incident a terrorist attack. The incidents come amid a hasty mobilization ordered by President Vladimir Putin to beef up Russian forces amid a series of battlefield setbacks following his February invasion. The call-up triggered protests and caused hundreds of thousands to flee Russia. Also Saturday, a Washington-based think tank late accused Moscow of conducting a massive force deportation of Ukraine, which is likely to amount to ethnic cleansing. In its regular online update, the Institute for the Study of War referenced statements made this week by Russian authorities, which claimed that several thousand children from a southern region occupied by Moscow had been placed in rest homes and children camps in Russia in an ongoing Ukrainian counteroffensive. The original remarks by Russia's Deputy Prime Minister Marat Kulusin were reported by the state REI Novosity Agency on Friday. The Institute also said that Russian authorities may additionally be engaged in a wider campaign of ethnic cleansing by depopulating Ukrainian territory through deportations and repopulating Ukrainian cities with imported Russian citizens in violation of international humanitarian law. Russian authorities have privately openly admitted to placing children from Russian-held areas of Ukraine who they said were orphans for adoption with Russian families in a potential breach of a key international treaty on genocide prevention. The 1948 Genocide Convention, which was ratified by over 140 states, including Ukraine and Russia includes forcibly transferring children of the targeted group to another group in its definition of genocide. Elsewhere, the Ukrainian military on Sunday morning accused pro criminal fighters of evicting civilians in occupied territories in order to accommodate officers in their homes and act is also described as a violation of international humanitarian law. The general staff of the armed force of Ukraine said in its regular Facebook update that the evictions were happening in the Russian-held city of Rubzin in the eastern Luhanes sector region where Kyiv has been pressing a counter-offensive. It did not provide corroborating evidence for its claim. This is it for today. For more quick updates, do subscribe news site. Thank you.